Hello everyone. Today we are diving into the rich green world of avocados in the United States, that creamy buttery fruit that has captured hearts, kitchens, and entire menus. From guacamole with football games to the simple beauty of avocado toast in the morning, this fruit has become a cultural icon. But how exactly do avocados reach our tables? What does it take to grow them, harvest them, ship them, and keep up with America's growing appetite? Let's go behind the scenes and follow the full journey. It might surprise you to know that the United States produces only a fraction of the avocados we consume. Our farmers grow them mainly in California, Florida, and Hawaii, but it is California that truly dominates. With its Mediterranean climate, its sun-soaked hillsides, and its carefully irrigated orchards, California accounts for more than 90% of U.S. production. Florida and Hawaii add their share, but on a much smaller scale. Even so, domestic production cannot keep up with demand. Today, Americans consume nearly nine pounds of avocados per person each year, a massive jump from the less than one pound that was eaten annually in the 1970s. In total, we now import more than 2.8 billion pounds of avocados every single year, with 90% of them coming from Mexico. California avocado farming begins with carefully grafted trees. Farmers graft young seedlings onto rootstocks to guarantee uniformity and disease resistance. These small trees are planted in rows with enough space for sunlight and airflow. Drip irrigation systems provide just the right amount of water, while fertilizers are applied carefully to encourage both healthy growth and fruit development. Within three to four years, the trees begin to produce their first flowers. Avocado blossoms are unique. They open first as female, then later as male, a biological design that encourages cross-pollination. This means growers often rely on bees and even place beehives in orchards to ensure pollination is successful. From flower to fruit takes time usually six to nine months, depending on the variety and conditions Farmers monitor the trees, closely checking for pests, pruning branches, and adjusting irrigation to respond to weather. Avocados do not ripen on the tree, so farmers can leave them hanging until they reach just the right size and maturity. But once it is time to harvest, the process is still largely done by hand. Workers climb ladders or use long poles fitted with small blades and baskets to clip each avocado carefully from its stem. Precision is critical here. If the fruit is squeezed too hard or dropped too roughly, bruising will appear later and the avocado will lose its value.
Once picked, avocados are transported quickly to packing facilities. First step is hydrocooling, immersing the fruit in cold water to remove field heat and preserve freshness. Then the avocados move along automated conveyor belts where they are rinsed, brushed, and disinfected. Sophisticated machines scan each fruit with cameras and sensors sorting them by size, shape, and skin condition. Only the best are selected for the fresh market, while others are redirected toward processing. Prime avocados are packed into cartons or mesh bags labeled and stored in refrigerated rooms at carefully controlled temperatures. From there, trucks carry them to grocery stores, restaurants, and distribution centers across the country. But the avocado story does not end with fresh fruit alone. Around 35% of avocados are processed into other products. In specialized plants, avocados are peeled, pitted, and mashed into guacamole, preserved using high-pressure technology that keeps the flavor fresh without chemical additives. Others are pressed for oil, a product increasingly popular for its health benefits and high smoke point in cooking. Some are diced and flash frozen, ready to be used in smoothies or meal kits months later without losing flavor or texture. In this way, the avocado industry maximizes every piece of fruit. Still, even with California's orchards working hard, the numbers fall far short of American demand. That is why Mexico has become such an essential partner. Its state of Michoacan is famous for avocados producing over two and a half million metric tons annually. Thanks to a climate that allows for year-round harvesting, Mexico ensures a steady stream of supply to the United States. Billions of pounds cross the border fueling industries and supporting more than 40,000 jobs in the United States alone, as well as over 70,000 jobs in Mexico. The trade has become a vital economic connection between the two countries. Of course, the journey is not without challenges. Prices can fluctuate when weather or politics interfere. Droughts, hurricanes, or wildfires in California can sharply reduce supply. Trade tensions or potential tariffs on Mexican produce can threaten affordability.
For example, economists estimate that tariffs could raise U.S. household costs for avocados by nearly 1%, a small number that adds up quickly when multiplied across millions of homes. To reduce dependency, some companies have begun sourcing from Peru, Colombia, and Chile. Chipotle, for example, has already diversified nearly half its avocado supply away from Mexico. But for now, Mexico remains the dominant supplier. As we think about the future, U.S. avocado growers are investing in new techniques to adapt to climate stress. Precision irrigation systems, soil moisture sensors, and drought-tolerant rootstocks are helping farmers conserve water, while maintaining yields. Scientists are also studying varieties that can better resist pests and diseases. With climate change continuing to shape farming conditions, these innovations will be essential to ensuring stable avocado production in the decades ahead. When you slice open an avocado today, you are holding the result of years of work thousands of miles of travel, and an entire ecosystem of people, technology, and trade. From the Californian farmers who climb ladders in the early morning light, to the workers in Mexican orchards carefully clipping each fruit to the engineers, designing high-speed sorting machines and packing plants every step is part of a complex choreography. And at the end of that journey is you, the consumer, spreading avocado on toast, blending it into a smoothie, or mashing it into guacamole for a party. So next time you enjoy that creamy green fruit, take a moment to appreciate the long path it has traveled. The avocado is not just a food trend or a garnish. It is a story of agriculture trade and perseverance, a story of how two countries the United States and Mexico have become bound together by the demand for a fruit that thrives in sunshine, water, and care. And it is a story that will keep evolving as farmers and consumers shape the future of this remarkable crop. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the avocado fields, packing houses, and global networks that make our obsession possible. Until next time, goodbye.